Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome to Se La Vie Tarot. Let's take a look and see what's going on with you during this time. All right. Uh, the extended will be at the bottom of the video if you're interested. Like, share, and subscribe, of course. Let's see what the vibes are. It's time to take action, Taurus. Especially if you have a moon in Aries or have a lot of Aries in your chart, you could be connecting with an Aries. Um, I feel like you're becoming headstrong. You're becoming different. You're moving different. Um, I feel like for a lot of you here, you're stepping into a place where you're detaching from things that no longer serve you. You're detaching from things that um, you feel has been dragging you or um, not moving at all, right? Whether this is career, whether this is love, it's like I need to take action, whether it's towards something else or out of something old okay but i feel like a lot of you are stepping into this place where you're saying i need to take action with this full moon energy i need to do so it's time right it's time for me to move myself out of a situation that is not really bringing me joy any longer okay a lot of you are understanding like something is stagnant or someone here hasn't been honest with you whether this is someone you've been working with or someone you've just randomly been um wondering if you could build something with here um i am getting a, a long-term situation so for a lot of you you could have been connecting with this person for a very long time or connecting with this business for a long time but you feel like something needs to be done something needs to change i need to change okay all right so let's take a look and see what's going on with love that's a very powerful energy extremely powerful energy actually what is going on with you taurus what are you up to? What are you changing here? Okay, so let's get a little bit more for my Taurus. Let's get some more for Taurus energy, Taurus vibration, Taurus sun, moon, Venus signs. Yeah, you're releasing someone. That's what I'm feeling. I'm releasing someone. I no longer have faith in something. I feel like someone here is showing you Yeah, tower moment. Some of you here, again, you're at a point where you're looking into the future and you're feeling like this is not really something that I could, something I want in my future. It's not something that I feel like is going to be fulfilling in my future, to be honest, okay? Some of you could have been connecting with a fire sign or you're feeling like it's time. It's time to take action. It's time to move forward. Um, and I feel like it, um, when you do choose to move forward, there's something that's very surprising waiting on the other side for you here. Something um, very loving, something that is going to be very different. But someone is actually walking away from something, Taurus. You're starting to realize something about yourself and you're starting to realize something about people around you. All right. Whether this is family, friends or whatever it may be. Yeah, it may hurt for you to make this decision, but I feel like ultimately this is something you feel that you need to do for yourself. OK, and I feel like you're at a point where um, you're going to put in the time to heal. You're going to put in the time to actually work through this situation. I feel like letting the situation go could have been extremely hard for you, but you feel very dissatisfied anyways. I feel very dissatisfied with whatever the situation is, with this Scorpio, with this Pisces, with this Leo, with this Aries, with this Sagittarius energy. You're starting to feel like it's not moving. I feel like a lot of you are also looking at the truth within this situation. You're starting to see that maybe someone didn't have your best interests at heart. Someone didn't care as much as you cared. It's like I really gave a lot. I gave my time. I gave my effort. I gave my love. Mainly, I gave my time, is what I'm seeing. And now you're starting to realize all I could do is leave all of this behind. It's like you're leaving people behind. And it's so interesting because I feel like this is someone here that thinks that you're still going to stick around or they think that you're not going to have uh, the strength to walk away from something that doesn't serve you. Because it's like there's still a lot of unknowns here. So this could be someone here that isn't giving you closure and you're just not comfortable with the way the relationship was going you feel like this was someone here that really just focused on themselves this person could have been at least somewhat selfish at times and i feel like this is not your first time thinking about walking away from this situation it's not but <laughs> it's time it's definitely time within the next couple of weeks i feel like a lot of you are going to have a huge shift that's coming in. Let's get a little bit more for Taurus, please. Thank you. The unsaid, yeah. You feel like someone here is not speaking up. 
you feel like this person didn't really tell you how they feel about you they wouldn't open up they wouldn't express their love to you okay they weren't honest i feel like this person would gaslight you at times and i feel like now you're looking at this person and you're saying like i don't feel like you're genuine i really don't feel like you're genuine i don't feel like you're an ideal partner your ideal mate for me some of you are releasing something that's just been draining you like i stated earlier is there anything else that's going on with my beautiful taurus here cheers i feel like you're celebrating this new beginning that you're having for yourself this new adventurous beginning you're not sorry i'm not sorry i'm just not i'm not sorry for sticking up for myself i'm not sorry for putting myself first in the extended we're going to take a look at this person's reaction we're also going to take a look at what's next after someone here walks away what happens right what happens when we walk towards the sun here okay I feel like there could be a divorce happening as well or someone here is hiding something about their divorce or not being honest about their divorce. I'm also feeling like there's a money situation here or like a religious factor or money situation that someone here could be a bit, I don't know, I don't want to say cheap, but someone here is like not being honest about their money and they're coming off as if they're very happy. I feel like also someone here truly needs to apologize here Taurus you have a new beginning coming in here for you lots of happiness lots of new people stepping in your way I'm seeing a lot of meetings I'm seeing a lot of great things date dates okay I just see you smiling way more here okay let's see what else we have for Taurus this is actually really nice actually there's good news coming in for you let's get a little bit more about this energy Let's get a little bit more. But Taurus, the thing about you is that you are always the person making the first move. Always the person trying to communicate. Always the person trying to open up here. Okay, I feel like this person kept you in a place where it's like you were the one that was always trying. You were the only one that was fighting for this relationship to work. And I feel like this is someone here that could still be in this energy here. I do feel like this person's changing a little bit. Now we're going to look to see if it's for the good or for the worse or for the better, whatever it may be. But I feel like you're in a position where you're saying, I've done everything that I could, honestly, and you're first. Okay, so I feel like you're putting you first, of course, but you're also in a place where you're wanting others to meet you halfway, meet you in the middle here. Okay, we also have dying love. Something died out here. Something is no longer serving you. I was trying to remain hopeful, but I feel like you're slipping away. You're the one that got away. Someone's going to miss you, Taurus. Someone's going to miss your love. I feel like you waited long enough. This person could feel like you're still going to wait. I feel like this person kept you a secret or kept secrets from you or this person kept you isolated for a very long time. I feel like this person would like come in and tell you, you know, that you're amazing, that you're a good person. This person would just try to keep you around as much as they could. And I feel like you caught on to the game or you caught on to the energy. Again, this could be a boss or this could be someone you've been working with, right? So take it how it resonates for you. This is actually interesting because I feel like someone here is going to be extremely surprised by the way Taurus is just going to bounce back. It's crazy. Yeah, some of you felt like this was a burden. Trying to get someone to commit to honesty or commit to you was a burden. It was a lot. It was overwhelming. I deleted everything that you reminded me. This person could have broken up with you or told you that it was over at some point or kept on breaking up with you. I feel like this person could have had commitment issues here. Okay, or this person could have been trying to commit to other people. We'll look at that in the extended to see if this person possibly had a side boo or something like that. All right. But I feel like, again, you're looking back at this and you're saying, wow, this was really a burden on me. This was really, really a burden. All right. We'll take a look at intentions as well. Let's get some more messages here before we take off. I like this energy because this energy is showing me that there's a shift happening. I still want you even if I don't show it. So Taurus, you could be in a place where you're, you still miss this person. 
Okay, you're still missing this person. You're still thinking about this person. Um, it, that's not enough. I feel like you're at a place where you're saying, yes, I may miss this person, but I have to do what's best for me. Okay, I have to. I just have to. I have to walk away. Some of you, this person could have had children. Or they're thinking about having children or want children. Let's just get some more. Yep. Some time apart. This person could have asked for some time apart or literally just took some time apart. Or you haven't spoken to this person in a while here. But in this energy of taking some time apart, boy, does it bring in some sort of clarity. We also have I want to explain myself to you. So someone comes in here wanting to communicate, wanting to talk, wanting to speak their piece here. We'll take a look at that in the extended as well. Yeah. I feel like this person has lost your trust. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. I love you, of course. All right. Link is at the bottom of the video. And um, also like, share, and subscribe if you like the vibe. I love you.